Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, especially design the course curriculum overview. You need not to have a chance to skip this tutorial session for to know complete the pictorial representation of the session, the program, how it is designed. And many of the topics may cover into this session and more topics may cover in the regular session as well. We will see in a scratch to advanced level with the using of the Django framework to build an e-commerce portal in a real hands, those who are from beginning from the zero to making a hero in Python language. We will see from the scratch steps how it is designed. Now see here, it's a caution I am giving you for the students who are entering into the Python. Please don't skip this lecture. Why? You will know about more details about this program. Now see the introduction part we have in a session for that Python overview, the advantages of uh, Python 3 and how to follow this course will cover in this follow section. Now see here Python setting up, installation and configurations, environment setup and a PyCharm IDE installation for code editor and run the program and editing of the code and invoking the packages and the methods how to call all will be in detailed explanation will be given with this continuation of the tutorials with this IDE. And additionally, learning resources are available, how to approach that and Git and GitHub overview, you will have in a great ideology about what is Git and what is GitHub. Next one, the course will move on from that, it will straight away jump start to object and data structures basics very pure basics like syntaxing, variables, strings, lists, how to use the list and involving the list and the dictionaries, how to create in a dictionary, how to use the dictionary, editing and modifying of the dictionary while compiler compilation time. And similarly, tuples, what is the tuple, how to use and if any corrections may require in tuple, how to convert to this tuple to list and uh, change the modifications and we need to change it to again the tuple and we need to run. Why? The tuples are immutable. We cannot be changed at a runtime. And booleans and the boolean expressions and generators as well as decorators. And the comparison operators. There is a good session which is designed and planned here for logical operators, how to use the logical operators and comparison between two things, like two parameters are there where how to compare these two and move for head for the next step of the, our execution. And next one, Python statements. If, elif and else, these are the statements we can do a wonders of the programming. It is using these steps only. If, elif and else, by using three state, the statement of if conditions, we can say that we can create a lot of programming and games and much more fun. You will enjoy with the session. And uh, looping statements of for loops, how to use for loop, where it can be applicable, where it will, whenever it's required, we can use the for loops. As well as we have in a game we have implemented while using the while loop, you will learn and enjoy with that game. While loop is a very simple technique to use in Python language. Simp similarly, there is an arrange method is there, it's a built-in function. We can compare with the while loops with the range. What is the range the loop should be run between the range only by while loop or for loop or a loop statements to be run. I can define very easily that I am going to teach you and you will learn with the fingers only. And assessment of your skills. You can assess and by giving in a what are the statements I have given you notes you following. I can assess you your skills up to what is the range you can also assess yourself. And the next one, methods and functions. Once the completed, the pure basics will come to jump on to start with methods and functions. And you will have in a great details of the details about methods, functions, list methods. What are the functions and the list methods means? Inbuilt, predefined, ready-made functionalities of the methods are available in Python. One by one, in these sessions, one by one, we are going to be given most popular and regular real-time programmer which he wants to use the methods and functions. 
and nested statement scope of the project and assessment of your properties uh, you have here and let's we go here is a first mini project welcomes with the game creation that guessing game the basic beginner who will write in the guessing game is you have to find out in a secret number and you can have in a three chances to find out the game and the guessing game you can play with that game is an enjoying write the programming once if you have completed the basics you can write the guess guessing game very easily and now we'll jump start from there to object oriented programming it's an a hoops concept very in detail each topics is having very simple examples to understand in very easy manner that is what is class objects methods inheritance encapsulation polymorphism special methods assessments and for practice this all topics i can assign you for assessments to practice of individual sessions many times this is an aware we are preparing for an online session that videos at 24 by 7 manner at any time you can recap it and rewind it and check that program and rerun and practice yourself and here errors and exception handling this is a very good pretty important and interesting topic how to handle simple errors where it may be simple or major it's a immaterial to you the way how you need to handle the errors and catching the exceptions and uh, once it's, if it is a catch to that exception how to send a proper message to the end user you will be no and next it's in a second project card and deck game it's a little complex why the little complex is involved here till now you have covered the course the basics and object oriented manner you have completed how to you are awaiting of that till stage how to invoke and calling the classes instantiation of the methods and all so we are introducing here is an a card and deck game to little bit complex methods or involving in this game you will be know how to write and execute this game and the modules and packages creating modules packages installing modules exploring the python system integration how to involve this modules and how to integrate along with the packages to the main project and how to call these all the things will be pictorial representation will have in a good idea and understanding and next built in functions what are the built in functions are available ready madely available in python language we can simply declare that method name and we can call it as the function and use it like random date time timing your code and you can also test your code what is the performance of that particular piece of code is giving in a performance in real time scenario you can test it writing your code whether it is correct or not how the code is giving in a performance or not you can also check it yourself and regex it's in a regular expressions there is in a functions are there ready madely you can check with this regular expressions and now we are going to be entering is a advanced python python django framework d is silent in this world called django framework creating first project creating first app that's in a project approach we are going from here and view the functions and uh, url mapping how to urls and the links to forms so how can we can map it here and uh, clicking by the link and the like menu items and uh, navigation parts everything will be covered here and the migrations how to make it a model and migrating creating the database structures here and the admin panel which is by defaultly available with django framework how to enable by creating the enable and activating that module by creating a super user and creating a templates and beautification of web pages involving with the good strap and uh, css applying with the html help and navigation of the menu bar and uh, left side and the beautification of the page you will see with the e-commerce project i have uh, developed uh, to by showing you this concept once the complete of this course you will learn one portal of e-commerce by using the django framework you will be learn and the final project integrating all these modules one by one what we have done so far we covered in the django framework once you will get real time hands on creating a python using django framework project experience if you have done something is an extending that explanation by recapping the videos and your urls you will have in a great session 
i hope you you will enjoy this course i'll see you in the course in the level of next thank you for watching this session thank you and welcoming you